Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And of course, Happy New Year. <laughs> Not just from my me, I'm Alison, in case you don't know, and I'm Dara. Yes, and of course, Tinkerbell's here and Jack's in the background as well today. So we may have to remove him at some point if he misbehaves. Um, we are part of the Messy Church team at Bridlington Priory, just in case you don't know who we are by now. Um, we hope you're having a great Christmas and had a fantastic New Year as well. A reminder that this week uh, we have the 10.30 service on Sunday, both online and in person. And at 6pm, Reverend Christine will be doing another online reflection. So do join us for those, either via the Friends of Bridlington Priory Facebook or on the YouTube channel or with the 10.30 service, you can join in person as well. Um, so let's take a moment before we start our opening prayer. Creator of the heavens who led the Magi by a star to worship the Christ child, guide and sustain us that we may find our journey's end in Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. So this Sunday is well, it's Epiphany, so Epiphany Sunday. Now, as always, we're celebrating a few days early, but that's okay. I wonder if you've even heard of Epiphany before. Have you heard of Epiphany, Dara? Yes, I have. Oh, very good. <laughs> Do you know what Epiphany means? Oh, I think I can mm. remember. Can you remember? Go on, what is it? Um... It's okay if you can't. I forgot. That's all right, don't worry. We were talking about it earlier. Um. The word epiphany comes from a Greek word and it means revealed or manifested. So for those of us who are Christians, it's the time when the Magi or the wise men came to worship Jesus and he was revealed to the world. It continues through to the start of February when Jesus was presented at the temple. But we'll talk about that in the coming weeks. In some countries, Epiphany celebrations are just as important as Christmas itself. Um, in parts of South America and in Spain, for example, people celebrate Epiphany by exchanging gifts. They have parades and parties and all sorts of things. And um, here it marks what we often call Twelfth Night. And you may have heard some people say, oh, you've got to take your decorations down before Twelfth Night. And that's one of the reasons why people did but don't listen to anyone who says, oh, it's bad luck. Because often, actually, people would keep their decorations up until Candlemas, which is at the start of February. And they would keep them up then um, because that was when Jesus was presented at the temple. So they would keep their decorations up sometimes until February. I'm not suggesting you do that, but you know you can, if, you, you can if you want to exactly it's up to you right so our story today of course is about uh those three wise men who appeared uh to come and worship jesus and that's where our story will start today during the time when jesus was born there was a very mean king Ur, who who ruled the land his name was King Herod. Remember his name because we will talk about him later. Mm -hmm. Soon after Jesus was born, wise men were travelling on their camels. One night they noticed a very strange star in the sky. They knew that this star meant that the King of the Jews, the one who would save the world, had been born. When the mean king, um, what's his name? What's his name again? Herod. Herod. Yes, that's right. Heard, heard this, and he got very worried. Mm. He called a meeting with all the other important people in the area, and asked them where this special baby had been born. The people replied, Bethlehem. They knew this because they had heard that one day a special person would be born from there and would take care of all of the people. 
The King Herod called the wise men to a secret meeting and found out exactly where they saw the star. Then he told them to go and find this child as soon as you f as soon as you find them, tell me so that I can go and worship him. After they had spoken to the king, um, the wise men left to find the baby. They didn't know exactly where the baby was, but at night they followed the star in the east. They followed the star until it hung right over the very place where Jesus was. When they had finally arrived, they were very excited and happy. They found Jesus lying in Mary's arms and they bowed down and worshipped him. They opened the gifts they had brought Jesus. The gifts were gold, frankincense and myrrh. These were very expensive gifts. These were the gifts that you would give to a king, not a baby. Mary thanked them for bringing the gifts for Jesus and the wise men went to find a place to sleep for the night. As the wise men slept, they each had the same dream. They were not to go back and tell King Herod where they found Jesus. King Herod didn't want to find Jesus to worship him. Instead, he wanted to kill him because he was jealous that this baby would someday be better than him. So the wise men went home another way so Herod would not know where they had come from. They also decided that they would not tell King Herod anything about what they had seen. When the wise men had left, an angel appeared to Joseph in a dream. Get up, the angel said. Take Jesus and Mary and run away to Egypt. Stay there until I come to you again, because Herod is going to search for Jesus to kill him. Joseph immediately got up and woke Mary. She gently picked up Jesus so he would so she wouldn't wake him from his sleep. They left in the middle of the night for Egypt so no one would see them. They were safe in Egypt and after King Herod died an angel appeared to Joseph and told him he could go to a place called Nazareth and that is where Jesus grew up. Mm. Brilliant. I often find myself wondering, you know, what happened to the gifts that the wise men gave to Jesus? What do you think might have happened? Well, with the gold, they could have sold it for money. For well, Jesus. yes, could have spent it, couldn't they? With the... Wait, do you burn frankincense? Yeah, it's, it's an incense, so... They probably would have set that up in wherever they're mm -hmm. staying to make it smell nice. What's he do with myrrh? Myrrh's an anointing oil, which is um, usually often used when people die. They could, they could give it away to a church. Maybe. They could, or maybe they save them. There's all sorts of things, isn't there? But I find myself wondering about these things. I like to try and imagine what it would have been like. Mary and Joseph, they just had their baby away from home. And Mary has to once again leave and go away to make sure her son was safe, as did Joseph. It just shows how much they trusted in God. For our craft today, we're actually thinking about the new year. Now, if you haven't had a chance to finish your three kings, your, well, your wise men, sorry, as I should say, uh, to go in your um, nativity, you could finish them now and they can go in there alone. <laughs> because they would have arrived so if you want to finish those you can but we're thinking about new year and what's one of the things that most people do every new year what do they make have you heard the word res they make new year's res do you know it resolutions you heard oh, that? Yeah. yeah new year's resolutions and it's something that we often make in the new year we decide we're going to have a healthy diet or we're going to exercise or we're going to watch less tv uh we're going to um eat healthier food we're going to be nicer to people there's all kinds of things that we might decide to try and do and often you know we sort of we make a resolution we break it and we don't you know we don't think too much about it but I often find if I write things down, then I'm more likely to stick to it. And our craft for today, we're going to make some actual resolution um, 
what do you call them? I suppose decorations you would call them. I'll show you. So you're going to need to make this. You're going to need some, either you can use lolly sticks. Now, if you don't have enough lolly sticks left, don't panic because I'll show you another way to make them in a minute. But hopefully you have some lolly sticks left or you've been eating some lollies and you have some um, because you really need four of them. Now, you can paint them, you can colour them, you can do what you want. If you're wondering what these white bits are, I'll explain in a minute. Um, but the first thing you need to do with your lolly sticks is you need to colour um, them. Colour them. Yes. <laughs> I, I thought it was like decorate. Or it's all right. Together. Dara's been out playing, you see. <laughs> You've been having a good time, haven't you? Yeah. So what I've done on the end of these, if you got a messy church ba bag last time, not this time, that's just gone the time before, you would have had some of this fantastic double-sided tape. And it's brilliant for things like this. If you didn't get any of the double-sided tape, you can use normal tape and you just roll it up on itself so it becomes double-sided. Now, I've pre-stuck these on because they can take a bit of time. But if I can give you one and you can start trying to take the white bits off. It's not going to happen. Um, all you're going to do is try and take the white bits off. They can take a bit of effort to get them off. Did you do it? No? No, I just hurt my nail. Oh, no, don't hurt your nail. And there, I've got one now that has the tape off. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to take the bit with the tape and I'm just going to press it down like that on top. There, like so. And then I'm going to do the same here. Press this one down on top like this. So we've got... Yeah, it's not happening. It's all right, don't worry. It's quite hard to do. I'm, I'm not too bad because I've got, I've got reasonably uh, long nails. I've Dara's are quite... Nails. Yeah, you, yours are quite short, aren't they? So you Probably. might need a bit of help from someone who's got some nails. <laughs> If you like me, you're with me. There we go, got that off. And then we stick this one on as well. And you end up with a frame. Now, you, I'm using the big lolly sticks because that's what I happen to have. You can use slightly smaller ones if you want to. Now, again, a couple of options with this next bit. You have in your messy church bag, Dara, because I'm crazy, I've left it over there. Could you just go and grab? Oh, no, that's not big enough. I need one of those squares. So could you just go and grab the messy church bag from over there? So I've made my little frame here. And you can either then use some of the coloured paper if you want to. Because what you're going to do is you're going to back the frame. Or you could use, and these look great, some of the scraps of fabric that were in the messy church bag as well. And then all you would do is you would... Let's get it get an approximate size and you would cut it sort of to fit so kind of about down here yeah that yeah not too no. more this way that's it there we go just keep going to the bottom that's it fabric is really easy to cut <laughs> it can be can't it and then you would do the same at this side as well and then what you would do is you would stick that with glue or with tape again it's up to you to the edges like so and you would end up with it back and as I say if you don't have um any enough lolly sticks left I'll show you another way in a bit but then you would end up with that glued to there like that oh, I won't need scissors I don't huh? know they are. no those are the ones that came in the messy church bag ah uh, yeah they've just been I've actually what I've done is I oiled the scissors ah and um, we find that sometimes the scissors get a bit sticky. So if you oil them, so like a tiny bit oil. of oil, yeah, olive oil, it just makes them a bit easier to use. So there we go. Um, and then what you can do is you can then decorate all of this. So I happen to have lying around, I had some little sticky things um, that just happened to have been in one of the, I think it was... Um, yeah, I think it was a paper gang thing, wasn't it? But um, which is like a little subscription thing. But um, um, I, yeah, no. But you can often get these in decorations packs, which is what I was trying to say, Christmas decoration packs. Um, so you can use little bits like that. Or again, you can take the coloured paper and you can cut little shapes and things. I've just cut some little shapes like this. Hello, Tinkerbell. She's trying to sit on my knee here. Um, and some triangles. And then all you do is you stick them on to 
the sticks and the paper like so now this one as you can see i've used fabric to back and i colored in the sticks and then i put some stickers on top yes of course the writing's backwards um and all we all i did with that was write on a little piece of paper something that you might want to have as a resolution so this one just says pray every day um but you can choose what resolutions you like now what i did with another one yeah of course Oh, no, no, that's that. one. Yeah. Um, what you can also do is you can take some scrap card and then you draw a square just slightly inside the lines. You know, exactly like we did for the... Um, cereal box theatre exactly like we did for that so that you then cut that out and then what you end up with is a cardboard frame and this here this white bit is the cardboard frame that I've done for this one and this again just has a few decorations on it and this one I've used paper as a backing and then I've printed off something a little resolution to go on it and this one says I will read five pages every day oh. <laughs> Because it means you might read five pages of a book, you might read five pages of the Bible. It's entirely up to you what you want to do for your resolutions. So what resolutions might you choose, do you um, think? Maybe like pick as much rubbish up as possible. Oh, that's a good one. We go on the beach a lot. We could maybe resolve to pick up litter, couldn't we? Reuse as much recycling yeah, as possible. That's another good one. So, like, if there's a bunch of boxes, mm -hmm. don't do this without a parent's permission, and always have a super mm -hmm. someone watching you. You can make like a box for a model yeah. or something. Well, we're really keen on you hanging on to things here anyway that you can reuse. I've I've always we've always got a little scrap box going there, which has got bits of scrap paper, bits of uh, cardboard and everything that we collect. And I must say, over Christmas particularly, you'll often find that you get loads of things that you can keep. Things like, now I know lots of charities will take Christmas cards, so if you're wanting to give them away, uh, you can do that. But Christmas cards as well, you can cut them up and use little bits of them for various things. It's fantastic. You can use all sorts of different um, bits and bobs, can't you? Mm -hmm. Even the boxes from the present, from your yeah, presents you could use. Exactly. All sorts of things. So do hang on to things that are useful. What I tend to do is after a while, like every every now and again, I go through the box and I think, oh no, we've not used that. We're probably not going to use it. I might get rid of that. Um, just so that it doesn't get too full. But it's always worth hanging on to things. There. No, it's always worth hanging on to things. Little jars are really good as we've well. We've got hundreds of jars. We've got lots of jars that we like to use. Because again, you know, if you didn't want to make a decoration, you can have a resolutions jar where you put your resolutions on a piece of paper and pop them into Ooh. a jar. You could just get a bit of glitter, like a picture, mm -hmm. picture of like a family. Yeah. And then it's snow globe. Mm, that's a good idea, isn't glitter. it? Yeah. Mm. Glitter globe. Awesome. Lots of good ideas. Brilliant. Well, I hope you have some fun making those. So do have a go. And if you make them, do let us know. Um, by the way, we, if you don't want to be on social media, that's absolutely fine. We love to see them anyway, so do share them with us. Or just take a picture of your finished piece. You don't have to be in it if you don't want to be on social media and we can just show the piece that you've made. Right, it is time now. For the White House, yeah, because, of course, we lit our final fifth candle, didn't we, for Christmas. You could keep using your... Hmm? No, it's okay. Um, you, we don't need to use a candle. Um, you could keep using your wreath if you prefer. It's entirely up to you. You could just use your tea light. It's up to you what you want to use. But we'll go back to using our lighthouse for now, I think. So do you want to light that? Yeah. Oh, you're doing the prayer, aren't you? I'm so yeah, sorry. I keep forgetting. <laughs> I keep forgetting too. I'll light the lighthouse while Dara gets ready uh, to say the prayer. But you can do whatever you want, as I say. If you want to light a lighthouse, do so. If you want to hold a tea light, or just get ready. Lord Jesus, the wise men gave you gold. They knew you were a king. The wise men gave you incense. They knew you were God. 
The wise men gave you myrrh. They knew you would die. We give you ourselves. We know you love us. The wise men followed the light of a star to find you in Bethlehem. Help us to follow your light so that we can live as children of God. Amen. Amen. Thank you, darling. That was lovely. Um, have a wonderful, wonderful week, everybody. Do enjoy your New Year's Day. And as I say, um, you know what's coming up the post the facebook post i knew there was something i needed to say the facebook post will be up shortly which has a link to where i got this idea for the um uh, the resolutions idea and it'll give you a few more examples of how you might you know things you might do, do with them as well and the uh bible story uh from today is also on there as well so have a wonderful week and we will be back next week god bless oh yes um if you have any spare jars, you can like customise them, mm -hmm. put put some stuff on them, yeah. and make them into like a stuffed jar. Absolutely. Put what you need in there. Exactly. Jam, whatever. Mm -hmm. Thank you. God bless everybody, and we will see you next time. Bye bye.